hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please make sure you subscribe like and share and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so in this video we are going to be making an a-shaped gown one of the easiest gowns to make and this is the material i'll be using to make it it's ankara and you okay if you know it's six yards and um well i'm just showing you how it looks <laughs> i'm just showing you guys how it looks it's very pretty i think i'm going to keep this gown for my eat yeah and i'm just showing you guys um the six yards of the um of the material um i think all ankaras come this way right i think so i don't know but so the first thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to take off one yard which has the sticker you see it has the sticker of the ankara so i'll be using that as my head scarf so i'll be taking it out and keeping it then i'll be using the five yards for the gown so you see yeah this is how it is then you turn it around because you know the length an a-shaped gown is cut out um straight up there's no attachment is straight so you know you have to turn it around so that you can get the full length of the gown that you want so after turning it around you see i'm just going to measure 60 inches okay 61 because the length i want is 60 so i'll just add one inch for you know sewing allowance so i just cut out 60 inches then that is for the length then i kept the material side um by the side that hand is my niece's hand i don't know what she was doing or i think my nephew's hand so here i'm just placing out my um horizontal measurements the first line that i drew is um nine inches that is for my bust point then 13 inches for my under bust length and then here i will pl i'm placing my um shoulder measurement which is eight it's seven but with sewing allowance making it eight then for my neck length i used three and a half and also for my neck depth i used three and a half and then here i'm just um you know joining them together going in by one inch to curve it out then i'm going back to my shoulder placing um my armhole measurement and placing it um eight then I just took out one inch from the top for my shoulder slant. That is the slant that I just drew from the shoulder to the neck. Then I'm joining my armhole line to my bust point. That is the curve that I did there. Then for my bust, it's 34, but I'll be making it 36, you know, so that it will be a little bit free one inch, and then the other inch will be for sewing allowance. So that will be making it 10 i believe yeah so i just cuffed it more to my um, armhole then for my under bust i it's 27 i believe i also added two inches i think or three or two and a half you know for sewing allowance and so that i can have one inch allowance so it will not be exactly fitted to my body when i wear it and that is just what i place here i'm connecting the armhole to you know the under bust and here i just changed um, my camera to show you guys so all you have to do from here is draw a straight line from that under bust down to the end of your gown that's the only thing you need to do of course um okay here i'm just sure i don't know what i was doing but it's nothing significant <laughs> and that's what i did i drew a straight line please use a ruler please use a ruler to draw that straight line please do that i am um, let's just say i'm not really serious when it comes to using rulers yeah and i'm just cutting it out you see i just cut out my neck um my shoulder slant my armhole and then i'm cutting out um the gown yes please use a ruler when you are cutting from your <clears throat> okay when you're drawing the line from your under bust to the end of the gown use your ruler please so you don't have to draw a lot of lines yeah and this is how it looks there's it you have the front part of your gown then i decided to change the shape of my neck because you see this is a round neck so i said decided to make it a v-neck 
yes yeah, so i just you know added two inches down from where i carved the neck to make it straight down so the depth of the neck is now six inches yeah i'm just correcting it more i added the what the um length or the wideness of the neck you see that's how the neck looks like i just decided to change it because i've been making a lot of round necks <clears throat> and this is how it looks so here this is the back part of the dress you just pick up your material you know just the same way you did with the front part fold it into two measure out 60 inches then you take your front part and you put it on top so that you can just you know trace it out and cut it out for them to have the same shape and that's just what i'm doing that is just what i did as you can see there's a space between the um front part and the back part of the shirt that is the one inch for zip allowance yes that is just it I, yeah then i'm just cutting it out pretty easy like you can cut out this um this gown within minutes and then so it's like it's very easy that's why i love it i once i don't you know want to stress myself <laughs> i just make an a-shape gown that's just it and here i'm stretching out the end and the back because you know i took one inch from the back for that zipper allowance so i have to straighten it down yeah it's just straightening down the line that you drew from the under bust that's, that's just it then here for the neck i'll making <coughs> sorry guys i'll be making um a round neck for the back part of my shirt so it's just the front part that has the v-neck and i'm cutting it out here pretty easy and guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please please subscribe right now so here at the edge of the gown i'll be taking that two inches to slant it out so that the edge of the gown is slightly shorter than the middle of the gown that's just what i did and here from my shoulder i'm placing the tip from my shoulder down 19 inches for where i will put in my <coughs> my pockets and that's it we are done with the gown then we'll be cutting out the sleeves have you subscribed to my channel how you haven't okay do it now do it do it do it thank you here this is the material so i decided to use this pattern because uh, <coughs> the ankara has a pattern so i just said okay let me use this pattern at the end of the sleeve so that i can apply some stones you know so that i'll get some glittery shining stones under sleeves <coughs> So I just folded um, the material into two. Yeah, I'm just measuring the, how long I want it. So I wanted it to be a full length sleeve. And I wanted it to be an oversized, slightly A-shaped too. Like it's A-shaped, yeah. So here I'm just, I, I marked out um, nine inches. That is the dot that I see in there. Then it's just a normal hand sleeve that you guys know just a normal hand sleeve that you're going to cut out you see after cutting that out then you straighten down your hand just like when you're making the a-shape gown it's an a-shape sleeve <laughs> i don't know if it's undone in for it but it's just the same way as when you're cutting out your a-shape gown sorry guys i'm having cough i think i don't know why my <clears throat> my throat is doing this to me i don't know so yeah this is how it will look so yeah and i'll be taking that one inch two from the hand from the edge of the hand so that it will be able to be slanted just like the way we did with the a-shape gown and you see that pattern that is where i'll be arranging my stones guys i can't wait for you to see it i love this gown i'm definitely keeping it for eid yeah eid is in a few weeks i think two weeks so yeah here this is where i cut the lining for the gown <laughs> peace out yes like this is my god oh my god okay this is before i added the stones to the sleeves guys just wait for the next clip look at oh my god look at those sleeves can you see how they are ah look at how they're shining guys if you don't know what to do to your ankara just add stones to it that's it like you are done with it the way it's going to be shining you are going to be so impressed with yourself and i absolutely love the way the gun look at oh my god look at that look at that 
look at that guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel please and stay tuned i'll post more videos thank you for watching